All right, boys, we got something pretty important to go over today. This is actually something that a lot of people have been requesting from them, and the NA Twitter has slowly started like referencing it and just talking about it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Let's jump into it. Let's head over to their Twitter. <laughs> So again, heading over here, this is the MHA um, NA Twitter. Again, if you don't know NA, always tweet stuff. They always talk to people. Um, they are way more vocal than the EU Twitter. Um, so again, if you ever like get a reply from them, usually they are talking about something, they're fixing a problem, um, they're congratulating you on your summons, um, or they're teasing something or hinting to something later in the future, which they've done many, many times before. Sometimes we really get a banner um, info before it comes out because the NA Twitter has went and teased it. So that is something they've been uh, they've been doing. Um, they also go radio silent a lot of the time. Whenever there's a new update, that's when they start responding to people. Um, and then when it's like uh, middle of the week, end of the week, um, and nothing's happening, they don't really use Twitter. Um, and they don't really actually tweet anything or respond to people. So that's mainly what happens. That's literally the Twitter uh, in a nutshell for you. But yes, heading over here, this is the tweet that I'm going to refer to. It's January 14th, but this one was published. The next one was published practically 23 hours ago. So... First, over here, we have this person in response to something the, um, what is it, the NA Twitter was talking about Apex Showdown with, right? We have this person here, it says it sucks, because I'm in a dead server, so I can't get past the first part, lol. Um, there are never enough participants. Shoto then says, can you guys make it where we can switch service or anything like that? Please, I want to interact with people. At least sometimes I have friends on the current server in, so can we? Um, again, he's practically asking, can we switch service? Can we do all of this? Because um, remember, first for Apex Showdown, this is a massive problem. You literally have no ability to play this game out if you are on a dead server or if your server just forgets. If they literally forget to play that day, you lost out of the entire thing. And then again, if the server, now apparently this was like a thing, if the server next to you um, doesn't qualify, your server won't be able to play in the grand finals and all of that stuff. This mode was designed for a live servers and this game does not have many of those because of what's happened, right? Recently, um, whenever WHM hyped up the game, those servers really like, you know, like profited. They got a bunch of players, they got all of that. But during that dead time between like the rerun cycle um, before WHM released, there were so many servers released and they all died. They literally did. I believe like 135 and above was a ghost town for a little bit um, until they had new players um, resurrect some of the ones above, but there are servers still that are just dead. They really are. There is no revive to them. They're just literally um, at a point where they can't do anything. Some people will be like 80,000 BP and they'll be like number one on their server, which that is like crazy to think about. So there are servers that are dead. And again, that mode really made it happen. We had the MHA thing. Uh, or rather, the mode made it more apparent, right? The MHA uh, Twitter went and responded with, um, we are working on the server issue in the background, so please stay tuned for the news in the future. They then also recently responded over here, um, confirming that they will try to do something with the server merge. They're going to attempt it. If you don't already know, CN did it. They also went um, because the game has died at a point where their like servers are so dead that they had to go and merge 1 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, those servers were combined and all of a sudden now you have those servers whenever you log into server 8 you technically are consistent of server 1 to 10 that's what exactly what happens over there um it's either 1 to 10 or 1 to 7 i don't know what exactly they did so just keep that in mind it could be 1 to 7 um and that is where the server merge will take place for global as well they'll do it that way 1 to 7 then 7 to 14 and so on and so forth that many servers each time um, that might be their entire goal but remember cn did it they were successful they actually re-brought the game back to life um, where you can actually go into the main hub area and see players running around because there are so many of them now existing. It's pretty cool. Also, by the way, if you wanted to join um, my Discord down below, I finally reopened it. So if you would like to join up, um, that is now open for you. We have some pretty cool stuff planned over there. So if you want to go and join up, you're more than welcome to. So again, we have this person, um, Llama, over here saying, also, uh, what is it? Hate to ask, but you have any general idea of the server merge, one or two more months, anything more? And then they responded with, we on the social team aren't really in the know about the server merge. And uh, regarding the chat notice functions, what do you mean? I'm guessing that's another thing they wanted to mention, but they are, again, planning one. There is something in the works. They have an idea. Yes, the social team doesn't have full information on it. But yes, this was mentioned. This was something that the devs did go and bring up. So I wanted to bring that to you. I wanted to inform you about this because this could be something big to actually revive the game and fix it because there are so many people on dead servers that are literally on the brink of like quitting the game because they just want to play with other people and actually enjoy it. Um, and their server is like no competition. There's like nothing there. It's pretty dead. Um, this is also a quick, uh, a quick L for a lot of people because there are servers that are so alive right now. Um, and those servers will definitely suffer a little bit because it'll be like more competition for those players that are trying to get there on top. Um, so it may bring a few problems, but overall it will help the entire state of the game and revive all of those middle servers that just lost everything. 
um, and it at least gives them the ability to play. Again, they could also do it where if one to seven is already so stacked, they just have to go and merge these servers that are so dead and at least fix it that way where people can actually play the game um, and enjoy it. So again, we will see what their entire plan is on a server merge, but it looks like it's you know, becoming more and more possible. First off, just so you know, CN did it two months ago. Um, in one of their latest updates, they went and like fully did it and the hub is insanely alive. Everything is actually alive. So that is really cool. So again, if CN could do it, probably they could just copy and paste that entire thing, try it over here on a little bit of a bigger global scale, and we could actually have that happen. So again, bring that to you. Thank you for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have fun and take care.